Hi, so this guide is all about infiltration. So basically I'll show you this first one. Under the build option, there's a thing called guard post. Guard post increases your chance to catch the agents and prevent the agents from doing missions on you. So for example, the higher of these you have, the more chance you have of seeing who it is that surveyed you or done an infiltration mission on you then you know who it is, you can go and attack them back or whatever you want to do. So, for the purpose of this video, I have found a random target. I'm not going to do some of the infiltration missions on them, because it's a bit harsh just for a just for a guide video, but... I start off with Spy Drone. Now, Spy Drone, if your intel, if you're on the tech here, if your intelligence level is higher than their intelligence, you have a chance for the spy drone option. Now the spy drone option is 100% accurate. So click that. So as you see he's got no troops of any kind. And only 21 turrets. This is completely accurate. So this is one of the good things to use. Now also if you go on to infiltration mission, uh, infiltrate missions. You've got a few different ones on here. I'll talk you through them one at a time. So survey speculation, not only can you see all the units that he has on here, it will um, show you the buildings he has on the planet as well. So I'll do that just to show you. You click on planets, obviously hit, these are too far away to do the missions on. So I'll click the nearest one, then infiltrate. I was successful in that because my, my technology is higher than his. So click survey. So now that I show you all the buildings that he has, if you choose to take over the planet, you'll get all of these buildings and his slaves. These are no longer in the game, so don't worry about them. Obviously it doesn't show anything on it because he hasn't got anything. But anything like the units or the turrets on the survey missions, they can be 20% out, depending on your um, your agent strength. So as you see here, so it's 22, but it's, that's, this one's the accurate one, the spy drone, so he's actually got 21. But when you go to um, add up the defence points or something to do the math when you're attacking someone, you always want to stick a couple of extra in there just to be safe. Now, back on here again. And so, yeah, this is your agent strength. So I've got 108 agent strength at the moment, because I haven't, put, I haven't bought much agents at the moment. I've only got 260. Now to increase your agent strength, there's a tech here called Armament. So I haven't, because I haven't done a tech reset in a while, I keep meaning to do it, I haven't got round to it, but I've only got 70 in that at the moment. Basically this means your agents are stronger the more the tech you have. So if you've got, say, 100 agents, for example, it'll be like attacking with 110 agents or something like that, so for example like that. Um, Traversity, that's not really needed at the moment because that's been removed from the game. But for for the moment, basically, if you go to do a sabotage materials um, thing on them, and they've got, say, 1k materials, you could do, like, 100 worth of damage, like, take off 100 of their materials, but if they've, obviously, if you've got that maxed out, you'll do, like, 200 worth of damage. So, back to infiltrate missions again. Now kidnap slaves, this is good when you leave protection. Obviously it saves you having to build up your own slaves. Why build your own when you can steal it off someone else? But I'm not gonna do that mission for this video because I don't wanna I'm already maxed out and I, I don't wanna take it off him. Sabotage materials. This is only really good for during wartime if you or if you really want to annoy a player. Say for instance they've got all their Nacrador on hand, at the moment he hasn't got much, so it won't be worth doing on this player. But some people have like 17k plus on their planets ready to build a mothership. That could seriously damage them. It could take off a lot of them uh, materials and they won't be able to build a mothership. So yeah, that's that's a really good one to use. Technology espionage. Uh, espionage. I'll use that on him just to show you the, the video. So I was successful again. So you click on technology. Now this will show you accurately all the technology he has. Now this is very important when you go to attack someone. For example, these are the main ones you want to go for. Uh, obviation, armor shields, weapons, they're the main ones. I'll tell you more about them in the attacking video next. 
but obviously if they've got higher in some of these than the ones that you like are higher tech than you then you're going to get owned in battle but if yours is a lot higher than theirs it's going to be fairly easy to own them next mission destroy infrastructure it's basically to click that and it destroys buildings on their planets it will come in quite handy if you can manage to destroy a few of their um, a few of these a few of their turrets that will weaken their defence on there uh, I don't even know how to say that word but this basically this returns another player's world so I won't do it because I don't want to give all his worlds away but yeah, you click that and it will come up and tell you another location of one of his worlds that saves you searching through the galaxy disable shields this is a very good one in battle as well basically it would take if you're successful in the mission you could take off up to 20% off their ships health so obviously take them down to 80% on a mother ship it's like 100 um, k raw points you can drop that to 80 k just by doing this mission already obviously if they've got more ships on the planet you can do damage to a few of them so when you send your fleet in it'll be a lot easier to wipe them out um, yeah so yeah that's that's basically all their missions um, one last thing if you go to your planet, I'll just pick one of my planets military, this is where the agents are that's where you buy your agents from, it's under the military tab oh this is your military limit so obviously I haven't got much at the moment because I haven't haven't needed to buy any more. Uh, yeah, so your tech tab. Also, if you go on the advanced here, it's not actually out yet, but you've got more infiltration missions and stuff on here. So you can put points into this, but it's, this is not not come out yet. So you ain't got to worry about that. I'll make another guide for this when this comes out. And yeah, that's uh, that's everything covered in the infiltration guide. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thank you.